And we're back with some more RimWorld. And we're still cleaning up the mess from the last raids that messed us up. Um, a bunch of our pawns are still recovering from malaria. Malaria. Lindsay is still at... Oh, they're actually doing the worst. Mm, death rest is complete. Excellent. With death rest done, I think advanced fabrication. That gets us to uh, high-tech components or advanced components, which we're going to need at some point. Maybe just not right now. At the same point, we still have this stuff up here, slowly expanding it and killing all the crops. We're going to have to take care of that in a bit. But for now, we just want everyone to recover from malaria. Once the malaria is dealt with, then we can deal with all of the other nasty problems we've got going on. Well, Randy is just full of the fun stuff this, oh, the last week or so. Cold snap. Right, it started just there seven seconds ago. We need to roof in this entire area. We don't have most of it roofed in, and everyone's sick. Like, just, oh, god damn it. Lunk is also sleeping, who's one of our construction people. Hmm. I need to get this up and running. I think we need to get everyone onto construction to try and get this finished. If we can get this roofed over and get in a few fireplaces, maybe we can save a bunch of this crops. So the hope is we can keep the temperature in here above minus 10. If we can keep it above minus 10, that means the, the plants in here survive. We've chucked down three fireplaces. We might have to go with a fourth. Oh, come on. Minus five inside. Yeah, we still don't have enough to start maintaining temperature. It's still minus six outside. Come on. No, we're not making any difference, even with three fireplaces. Oh, oh, there we go. It's minus six inside, minus eight out. We're actually getting enough roofing in there to make a difference. Minus five, minus four. I think we did it. Now we'll have to unroof it again once it runs out, but that... That was how we should have done it the first time. Okay, no interruption there. And in that case, we shall uh, we shall cancel that. Yeah, we can we can harvest those when the time comes. Psychoid plant. Oh, damn it! All the drugs outside. Um, harvest, harvest the stuff that didn't get destroyed by the fire. We managed to get most of the drugs actually harvested. It only went down to minus seven outside. And oh, yeah, we got another load of toxic waste to get rid of. Ah, first toxic waste dump of the day. You can go all the way over here. Bye-bye now. Yeah, I'm sure this will never, ever come back to bite us. Uh, how are we looking at here? We've got some weird trees called witchwood growing here. They're toxin-adapted trees that don't die. Uh, I'm hopeful we get some of the... There's a new tree you, s you can seemingly get that uh, it actually absorbs pollution. I'm interested if one of those shows up and if we can transplant it. Oh, uh, detected a logging site nearby. Don't really care. Malaria-wise, we've only got one, two, three, four pawns left with it. That is actually great news. Oh, and I also discovered that uh, Lunk lost their jaw in the last fight. A little bit awkward. You can't replace jaws or anything but a wooden denture, which yeah, no one's going to like Lunk anymore. They're going to give him a minus 20 with everyone social-wise. So if we go to, say, Stalker over here, uh, Stalker is probably going to have a bit of a problem at Lunk. Ah, disfigured, minus 15. So they're going to get a minus 15 social with everyone because of disfigured. Also, we've got a mechanoid cluster landing, and it looks to be landing right here. That's where the kids play. Really annoying. Uh, Muppet, I'm afraid your sky dreaming is going to have to wait. What's your other options? Uh, learning. Yeah, well, you're going to have to learn from someone because right now we need to bring everyone inside, including the bots, and then if this is a mortar, we're going to have to jump on it. God damn it, Randy, you've been really busy recently. All right, everyone is inside. Now let's see what... Well, everyone's on their way inside, at least. Ooh, that's too fast. We've got Toxic Spewer. Hmm. Is that... Yep, that's actually active already. Right. Well, that's a problem. And we've got ourselves, well, Proximity Activator, of course. A Mech High Shield. That will prevent all mortar shells from doing any damage. And uh, we have Mech Assembler, which will produce Scythers, Pikemen, Pikemen, Centipede Blaster, uh, four Mech Capsules, which is just, just great, and one Mech Drop Beacon. Not a single unstable power cell, though, because of course there isn't. That's just, why would, why would there be an unstable power cell? Right, how are we going to deal with this? Mm. Yeah, we need a plan. We need a good plan. Maybe a snipe of that might be in order, though getting in getting in close enough to snipe it out might be difficult, considering they've got four proximity activators and a lot of sight blockers. We'd have no way of really getting a good shot at that. Well, I have a terrible plan, but it's relatively low risk in a way. 
First, we've got, uh, what is it, invisibility. Uh, this gives us two doses of it. Well, at least one. Okay, so that gives us invisibility. Then we do ourselves a quick long jump. Okay. Perfection. Then we get ourselves some grenades. Now our grenades here should allow us to get off two grenades. Oop. Yep. Yeah, well, they've triggered the proximity activator. That is fine. One down. What have we got? We have one centipede, one pikeman, two lancers. But there's probably more on the way. Invisibility wears off in eight seconds. Perfect. Then we're going to need invisibility again. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Okay, beautiful. Then, now that we've invisibilized ourselves again, we'll insanity the centipede. There's only one of them. This actually makes our lives an awful lot simpler. I was worried there might be multiple ones in them. Right, you need to immediately jump out of there. Now that that centipede's insane, this place is about to become a hotbed. Okay, that's one long jump done. In fact, you're going to be burning through a lot of blood jumping out of here. We can't be leaving you through here. Quick, quick, quick jump again. Stoker, where the hell are you going? Oh, damn it. I forgot to restrict you guys. I changed their zones and I put them in unrestricted instead of area one, which prevents them going there. Well, yeah, well, just make a few changes there. And I'm going to have to get everyone back on the firing line. We're going to need to line everyone up here. We should be able to take most of these, assuming we bring ourselves along a shield pop. And that centipede should... Make a mess of these? Like, why aren't the turrets shooting at it? I have no idea. Oh, and we've got the toxic spirit down to 73%. All right, let me get everyone lined up. Well, here they come, and they've already got off shots, which I don't like. Ooh, okay, that's one shield up. Now, there should be a scyther around here somewhere. Where's the scyther? There he is. Uh, we're going to have to kill that one. Oh my god, that centipede is still running amok over here. Uh, go centipede, I suppose. Though, I think it... I mean, at some point, the turret's got to kill it, right? Uh, Smokey, you're on your way back. Excellent. I need you over here as soon as possible. Okay, more biting the dust. How's that shield looking? 24 seconds on it. Now, who's got an insanity lance? Oop. Insanity lance. Thank you kindly. Now, let's make sure no one targets that. That would be awkward. You two target that. Uh, you two... I want you to start targeting this one, these ones over here. Excellent. I'm pretty sure that Scyther can make a lovely mess over that side. And you, you can start shooting at those, that one. I'm looking on the, uh, the front of that shield. 18 seconds left. I think that is plenty fine. Come on, guys. Would you kill that thing? Wow, that's some terrible shooting on our, our part. Okay, and our Scyther died. Well, that's awkward. That still leaves us with one, two, three, four Lancers and the three Pikemen. Lancers are the annoyance. And uh, once they're dead, I'm not so concerned anymore. But we're running out of time. You know what? I think I'm going to use more Insanity Lances. Uh, who's got the most health? Nope, nope, nope. Yep, you two will do. Let's uh, Insanity Lance... Actually, no. Let's Insanity Lance the one at the front. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. Perfection. And all of you can target that one. God, actually, that's actually supreme overkill. Right, fine. Uh, two of you can target that one. The rest of you can target this one over here. Okay, I think... Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! This is too much awkwardness. We just have two Lancers left to go. Once the Lancers are down, I'm not so concerned. It's just they can one-shot one of our guys if we're unlucky. We've only got 2.2 seconds left on the shield. Hmm. Maybe pull back inside, get them in close, and then we can use a little bit of close combat to weed them down. That might be a better plan. I think, yeah. Yeah, run inside. We've done our part. Run back, leave this door open, draw them in. Yep, that was a good call. Given the time left. Okay, so they've got two Lancers, one of which is heavily wounded. 
uh, one injured pikeman and one fully healthy pikeman. And they have one clear way into our base. Or should I say they have two? Uh, somehow I forgot to notice that that wall got destroyed. Damn it! Okay, okay. We're on our way. We're on our way. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, Smokey, we're going to want you up front. Okay. Whew. Now we just got to make sure the kids don't go in there. Okay, Smokey, melee, melee attack that one. The rest of you are going to be coming in right behind. Done. You, over there. Okay, uh, Pepperso? That's good call, buddy. I, I like the hustle. But, uh, don't go outside when you're zoned not to go out there. Sort of my bad. Alright, uh... Hmm. I think the plan here... Quite simple. We're gonna have you long jump over there. Perfect. Uh, all of you, focus fire on that pikeman. All right, then. Done. Now, what's the range? No, we're just outside. Quick, 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 charge forward. Come on, hit him. Done. All right, and in the meantime, that centipede is going berserk over there and destroying all the turrets. I think I'm just going to let it. I mean, okay, we do have to destroy the toxic viewer at some point, but we can redress our wounds and come back there in a minute. Perfect. That mechanoid is doing work. Dear Lord, it's just shooting everything in sight. It's got this thing down to 8.7% just from splashed toxic viewer gone. All right, then. Uh, this thing's going to destroy the whole... Oh, wait, toxic viewer. That should wear off in a second now that the building is actually destroyed, but... um. Nicely done. We're going to let that centipede do its job, and when it's finished, we'll have to go ahead and kill it. But that's fine. We can wait a while. See, how's Lunk doing? Lunk is death resting and will be awake in 1.6 days. Well, that centipede made a glorious mess. The only thing it left was this mech assembler, which is going to put together a scyther. Kind of annoying, but who cares? It killed everything else. And did it quite efficiently as well. Uh, on the malaria front, or the plague front, almost everyone's finished. However... This thing's trying to make a break for it, and we can't afford that, so you two are going to have to come out after him. Uh, melee attack that centipede, if you wouldn't mind. The rest of you keep running. Oh. We're, we're going to need a jump here, I think. Or, actually, let's just skip him. Uh, yeah, skip seems like a better idea. It also stuns him. So you can shoot from there. You can shoot from there. Ryan, you can shoot from there. Yeah, we can do a decent number on them. Now, I really wish we had Lunk here to do the smacking in the face, but unfortunately, Lunk is still sleeping off his death rest. All right. Okay, that is an absolute... Oh, damn it. It's okay. It's okay, I have a plan. Uh, you need to skip that guy. Pretty far away. There you go. Uh, <laughs> he'll come back, but as he comes back, he gets shot. And we still have another skip. So, how many hills of bullets can you march through? Uh, can you do one? No, you cannot. Done. Problem solved. Oh, okay. Now we just gotta go over and kill that, and that's that entire mech cluster dealt with. Though we still have to deal with this one. Now we're looking on the pollution front. Spreading pollution nastiness, but... I think we have a chance of taking that shortly, once, once Lunk is up on a right movie. While we have been trapped inside, I've decided to finish off the solar. Once these, once this last panel goes in, we can stick in... Oh, didn't hook up. Uh, no, no, seriously. Yeah, fine. So these are all lit up. The only one missing is the center one. And once that uh, solar panel is finished, we're good to go. Ooh, cold snap just ended. We can stop them all automatically refueling those. Perfect. And we want to keep our crops alive the entire way through. We're now pretty... Well, once we finish this solar panel, once we wall this in, we are 100% insulated from this problem. Which is exactly what we want. We don't have to worry about crops dying off or anything like that. Right now, Smokey's doing a, a big caravan. They're going to grab all these animals. They're going to head off the map. And let's make sure they don't walk by any of the bad guys. Yep, yeah, they're fine. Uh, this should be fairly safe for a while. It's 
radius is spreading out, but it hasn't become got to the point where I'm too concerned just yet. Oh my god, they still have not patched that out. They keep having to stop every so often to pull the animals behind them. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but I presume it's not. Well, bad news. This is our first ambush of a caravan. Okay. Wait. Is that it? Ferezi? Oh, wait, they're an impid. That means they get fire breath. Well, fire breathy. We're not going to get that close to you. Also, it's raining. And you have to get close enough for us. And we have burden and skip. So, no. I don't think this is going to go very well for you at all. We're just going to stand over here. We're going to rid you full of bullets. Even in the rain, our accuracy can't be that terrible, right? Oh, actually, it is pretty bad. Okay, headshot. That's fine. And let's just uh, take you back over there. And why don't you do that all over again? Let's see if we can't do better the second time around. No, that's terrible shots. Oof. Yeah, you know what? Let's hit him with a burden. And problem solved. Well, that was not nearly as problematic as I thought it was going to be. These combat tiles get smaller, or is it just me? You know what? Never mind. We're, uh, time to move on. What? Uh, reform caravan. Why is that still red? I think they've changed the, uh, tiles for that. Alright, let's grab what we can and get out of here. Trade-wise, do you got anything good for us? No. Ah, oh, damn it. The pessimist gene? Ugh. I'm not even sure if I'd ever, ever want that. High libido doesn't sound really that useful for the cost. Uh, archive capsules, we're probably going to want to start buying those at some point, but they seem so plentiful, I'm just not motivated. 57 components. Yeah, we'll take them. Time to head back home, and that should get us a long way towards... Ooh, 32 to 20. Yeah, we get a lot of relations hits every time that pops up. Like, there's an update every so often about the relationships with the surrounding areas, and they are not really... Uh, why are you roofing in over the solar? God damn it. That's just so annoying. Uh, Stoker, can you... Yeah, removing roof area. That's much better. Let's hope our batteries didn't eat too much of a damage from that thing. God damn it. One thing I noticed on my little trek over here was they had something we would like. Namely, a bionic leg. Right about now, Lunk is feeling a little bit sluggish. Namely, because they've lost two toes on each leg. That's a lot of legs to... Or, that's a lot of toes to lose. And we can sell off a bunch of flick. Actually, that just barely pays for it. That worked out perfectly. Exit. And they can head back and Lunk can get themselves a bit of an upgrade. And I'm thinking Smokey's probably going to want to take a nap. They're uh, they're pretty close to death rest territory. Ooh, and Lunk as well has gotten a bit of an upgrade. We've given them a Devil Strand button-down shirt. Massive fire resistance, which is sort of what you want. The fire resistance on this is what you really need. Uh, where is it? Armor heat, 108%. Fire less likely to go on fire. We're going to grab some as well on the pants. We're going to get some Devil Strand pants to go with that once we harvest a little bit more Devil Strand. And that should make them fire less likely to get set on fire and become problematic. Should probably get the same for Smokey. Get all our vampires uh, heat resistant it up. Time to finally, finally, finally deal with this mess over here. Oh my god. This took forever to get around to. There was just too many... Yep, that's enough of that. Run! There's a fair few of these little bots. God, they're fast. Okay. Not as fast as our boys. Now, Lunk, we're gonna need you here for this. You might be jumping in a little bit to soak some damage, though you're probably gonna take a few hits. Oh my god. Uh, lifter bot. Going. Oh my god, those guys... Oh, those guys have a leash distance. Hmm. In that case, we're gonna abuse it. Alright, I think we found the distance they aggro at. Okay, back a bit. Yeah, I think that's it right there. Perfect. So we can basically just drag them back and forth here and keep shooting them as they run. This should be a handy way to drag them back and forth and not have to care too much. Hell, we can even... Oop, oop. <laughs> this is just dumb. Oh, there we go. Right there. Exit, riddle a few more. After a bit of playing around, we found the perfect zone. If you just, uh, if we step forward just one step, oh, damn it. We step forward one step to right there, the enemies aggro. And then if we step back one step, they de aggro. This allows us to draw a few forward, get a few shots off. And there we go. Then we just run back a couple of steps. Well, one step would be fine, but 
Let's maybe run back two this time around. And there we go. We get to bleed off a few and we just keep doing this again and again. We'll soon grind them down. How many we got? 23 milters out of 26 dead, 23 remaining. Well, that went incredibly well. We took one bruise, but that was it. Now let's just finish off this thing over here. Uh, I don't think we can deconstruct it yet. We just have to shoot it. Once that's down, that takes care of that problem. And we're back to a level pegging. Ooh, even keep worth is that that's a fox that is a wolf and over here we have a cougar we might take care of the cougar while we're over this part of the woods i think our next stage of development well okay we're gonna have to scrap all those milter courses corpses we can't just leave them lying around well we could but it didn't really send the right message uh, i want to get a gene extractor we want to start ripping genes out of people and storing them in a bank uh, we're probably going to need a few more of these gene banks but right now we've actually got plenty of components we've got steel coming in I should probably activate this mine again. Uh, it's just that, you know, Stalker's been doing a really good job helping out with the plants and everything. Look at this. We've got an entire ring of drugs planted all the way around the colony, just in case. We're even growing some drugs inside the colony here. We've got a couple of uh, patches here set up for growing drugs because we've got plenty of food coming in, but it's always nice to have more money. One thing we're going to do is we're going to start dumping these genies into the gene extractor. Hopefully we can get lucky. It used to be, was it 12 or 24 hours to get these guys done? Or does it take 12 hours? Now, the reason we want to check these guys in is we're looking for a few of the genes. One, basically, great intellectual, plus eight. Yep, great crafting, plus eight. Awful social, minus eight. Poor animals and plants we don't really care about. That's that's a half measure. We want a full measure, either, you know, awful pla awful plants and awful animals or great. We don't want any in-betweenies. In-betweenies are, you know, not really useful. Elongated fingers, we also want that. So we're going to keep ripping the genes out of these as much as we possibly can. In fact, I'm going to decant that uh, we've got a... We've got to watch him and call him one of those uh, annoying, aggressive guys. The Hussars. We've got one of the Hussars in there. We're definitely going to take them out and start ripping the genes out of them as well. Well, I think Elred's done. Or no, Derbyshire's done in the, the gene extractor. It extracted some genes from them and they got gene loss shock, which lasts four days. Pain, moving, consciousness, blood filtration, all reduced. However, their genes are regrowing and if we try and stick them back in again, it would kill them. So let's, let's not do that. But in 20 days, we can do it again. What did we get out of it? Well, uh, we got gene pack awful construction which was a thing. Is that what we got? Or no, we got thin body? Oh, come on. We this is a pointless gene. It's just, uh, it's an aesthetic one. You don't really care. So yeah, we're just going to eject that. We don't want it. And then we're going to set people to not pick it up. After five days, it'll just be destroyed anyway. So we don't care. Then we'll grab the next one, jam them in the gene extractor and off we go again. In fact, the only good gene we've got here so far is awful construction, which we can definitely give to people who don't do construction. All right, 12 hours from now, we'll see how that one does. And then we've got Kyle out. Kyle is, ah, yes, I remember Kyle. Kyle is our uh, annoying hussar. You gotta be careful with these guys. They're hyper aggressive, which means they are, was it 40, their prison break interval is massively increased. So uh, let's make sure they can't do any prison breaks anytime soon. But we're waiting for Kyle here to get their genes ripped out. Uh, they, they've got an hour left. We're also putting together a mech band antenna. Get this under the biotech section. It's right here. What this allows you to do is call in the next boss. We've already called in Diablos or whatever the hell the name is. We want to go up to the next level. And this one, where is the summon button? Or is, do we have to go to Stalker for that? Uh, summon Mech Threat. Okay, we can summon War Queen. Uh, we'll maybe wait till they get back to the base first. Yeah, we've got, uh, we've still got plenty of steel out here. In fact, out on the map, we have a total of 2,228 steel. I've cut back on the steel mining for a while, but no need to swamp our math and w map and wealth. Oh, and that legendary work, that was an assault rifle. Ryan had an inspiration, so we got them to craft an assault rifle. The way I figure it is, we're going to have five pawns that finish this and pass on to the next level on the Arconexus quest. So those five, we're going to give them the best guns and equipment we can get. And I'm thinking this gun's going to carry all the way through till the last round. It's engraved with an image of a large group of graves with no, no life in sight. Stalker lies on the ground, her body twisted at an unusual angle. Almost every shape in the image seems to be horizontal. This artwork tells the story of the atmosphere near Stalker's village becoming toxic on the 8th of April, May. Seems, seems appropriate and kind of Stalker, uh, Stalker themed. Very nice. We got super fast wound healing out of the Hussar. The Hussar is actually great to get your hands on, namely because they have awful plants, animals, artistic and social. Getting those four great negatives because you can stick them on pawns who are already terrible at those and will never do them. Great melee and great shooting. They never go out of style. Uh, at the same time, they've got psychically deaf, psychic fast, or uh, super fast wound healing, 
And, well, actually, that's about the best. Unstoppable could be useful, I'd say, but I, I wouldn't be drawn towards it, unless I had some spare points left over. The partial anti-toxic lung, I'm not a fan of. I would much prefer the full uh, full resistance. It only costs a tiny bit more. Okay, let's get our summoning on. Stalker, I would like you to summon the War Queen. Uh, she'll arrive with five pikemen, two scythers, and a War Queen. You know what? It's fine. Uh, that will free us up to research high mech tech. Which I am looking forward to. It gives us a mech band dish. Was that strong image desired? War Queen summoned. Be prepared. Yeah, we're we're prepared ish. Uh, when's our next birthday? Cowgirls are ne next birthday. They're about to be ten years of age, and they are maxed out. Excellent. Katie's is eleven and well over eleven and a half, but a year and a half, and they become thirteen. Oh yeah, a bunch of our kids are about to turn 10. God, it takes forever to raise these kids up, and we still got to do a second round of these. But at least on this, when we've got the second round coming in, we'll have 10 fully equipped pawns ready to kick butt. Well, that's wonderful timing. We've got Plague on six people. Uh, Muppet, Katie's, Cowgirl, Damon, and... Muppet. Wait, Chewbacca, Katie's, Cowgirl, Damon, and Muppet. And I think one of our... Yeah, one of our prisoners has also got it, but whatever, they'll probably be fine, maybe. Oh, and we're also doing a quick operation on Kyle. Anyway, uh, that kind of makes things awkward, but it's Kauger's growth potential time. Let's see what they get. They got Fast Learner with their first trait. They got the option of Trigger Happy, Creepy Breathing, no thank you. Very Neurotic is actually good for Global Work Speed, Body Purist, oh god no. Recluse and Abrasive. Oh god, so basically Trigger Happy or Very Neurotic. I mean, not the worst choices in the world. Let's see what they've got up here going on. Melee... But no shooting. God damn. After probably way too much time thinking, I'm going with Trigger Happy. Very neurotic is tempting, but then we'd have to... We should really have specialized them in crafting already. Construction or even specialize them in mining would be good. Though I'd hate to get very neurotic because of the mental break threshold. So no, no. Trigger Happy is just a good all-rounder. It helps them out. They're not a, They're not specialized in close combat. Now, we also want to get social because they're going to be a, they're going to be leveled up with the Empire, and we want lots of social on them. They're going to be doing their politics and stuff and speeches. Construction, melee, um, yeah, so construction and melee, I figure on top of that, they're a fast learner. Who cares? They're going to be, get great speed, even with just one point of passion or anything, they're going to learn at 175% speed. That's just mental. So, yes, uh, we don't really care too much about animals or intellectual, we can get other people to cover that. And plus, they might even get animals or intellectual on their next run, but dear, look at that. I really want them to get shooting, though. If they could just get shooting before this finishes, that would be really nice. Anyway, another person done. Oh, and Kyle, please, please just don't have another botched operation. We have botched the operation on that guy so many times. I'm surprised he hasn't gone berserk. All right. All right, everyone, we're expecting the War Queen any minute now. Hey, would you look at that. Katie's getting some cooking lessons from her old man. Nice! That actually works out. All right, hopefully Katie's will be good enough at cooking when, well, hit level 8 in cooking, at which point we can dump them straight into cooking. If they can't, we'll get them to make simple meals for the prisoners or something. Well, before the War Queen can arrive, Lindsay's also had her moment in the sun. And they've also maxed out their learning. Nice. Uh, what are you? Oh, poor plants. Oh, you're the kid that got hit with the bad stick. Right, but at least you got fast learner, so, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. No shooting? Oh, well, you got shooting in melee already, and you're a fast learner, so let's see what we can get for you. I'm thinking hard worker, plus 20% global work speed. Then throw in mining, crafting, and construction, to which they will get a 20% bonus to all of those things. Now, we might be spreading them a bit thin, but they're a fast learner and we can spread them out. Pity they didn't get shooting. Oh, actually no, they've got shooting in melee already. Calm down, calm down, it's fine, and they don't have any health negatives, and... Well, they're going to be sleepy anyway. We're going to have to find some genes to improve that on them. Ah, it's Papper Silly's go to actually evolve to level 10. It feels a bit like Pokemon doing this. Ooh, trigger happy. Brawler. Fast walker. Kind. Oh, cool. Well, there's not... There's actually three really good ones. Well, three decent ones in there. Trigger happy. I'm always quite... Oh, slow learner. I forgot. Never mind. They're taken after their Pappy, so it might just be Brawler, I'm afraid, for them. If they can get some melee skill. Which, no. They can't get melee. They get shooting, but no melee. Come on. Oh, this means they're never going to get two points in melee unless we gene splice it onto them. Well, they're already nimble, so I figure we give them Brawler and we just have to hope, really hope and pray that we hit a melee on the last roll so that they can at least get one passion out, and then we'll have to splice something onto them to make them even better. Might actually work. Then we could hopefully get them some decent melee skills, but a Brawler with nimble? Oh, just give me tough and one point in melee and this pawn would be absolutely perfect. All right, but we gave them shooting. Uh, double them on plants and put them a point in social. 
uh, namely we wanted to double down on plants because just like the old man we want plants animals and construction if we can get one more point in construction as well that would also be beautiful health wise they're looking good and they've got that strong melee damage so they could be a really nice little uh close combat mauler if the time comes and the war queen has arrived uh, they will prepare for a while before attacking five pythmen to scythers um all right let's see do we have anything in the area no we do not we don't have to worry about them doing something stupid like running into our stuff all right then war queen uh, let's have a look at you and uh, nothing as far as i believe you spawn stuff so i think what we do is we just insanity lance the war queen uh i take it then she spawns a bunch of stuff and that stuff that she spawns can go fight for her uh once she's insane they should all kill her and then we kill the rest i mean the pikemen will be annoyance i really don't like pikemen and the scythers we should be able to pick off from a distance, lure the pikemen in and slaughter them in close combat. When it comes to the plague or whatever the hell we have at the moment, Muppet is almost actually better. 85% immunity out of 58 and Damon's at 94% immunity out of 70. In fact, yep, yeah, we're golden. Let's send, uh, I think, Smokey. Yeah, we can give Smokey a, an insanity lance and send them out to go do the job. Well, Smokey's coming up on them now. Uh, what's the range on that? Uh, not far enough. Oh, wait, I remember this. They're gonna they're gonna try and shim shammy. Hell no. We're gonna pop to the side here. Oop. Insanity that. And then we're gonna run away. Ow. Now that's all your problem. Yep, go ahead. You can kill that all you want. Ow, how did that hurt? Okay, just your leg. Still moving at 360, just start legging it back home. We're going to have to deal with the leftovers. Oof. She kicked dirt in the eye? Yeah, I don't think that queen's going to last. Damn, she does take a bit of a pounding, though. Uh, you can head back home. Seriously? I mean, she's been ganged up on, I know, but she's not really doing an enormous amount of damage, and I'm pretty sure... yeah. This guy got half his damage from the needle gun shots that got fired through him and missed. Yeah, I'm afraid the War Queen turns out to be a little bit weak. Oh, she contains 600 steel. I wonder if she drops it when she dies. That would actually be kind of hilarious. Oh, uh, we better get back here and get prepped. I'm thinking we open this door, stay inside, and then kill the lot of them. I'm going to have to bring in the kids. Yeah, give me a minute. I still got to give it to that queen. She just will not go down. There we go. Power focus chip has been dropped. Uh, yeah, extant. And that's it. She didn't even kill one of them. I mean, she softened up to two scythers, but not exactly uh, extant work. Uh, we'll just hold on. We'll try and see if the scythers get ahead. If the scythers get ahead, we'll kill those first. Then we'll lure the pikemen into close combat and we'll let Lunk do the talking. Well, here comes the stalker, or here comes the scythers, and they're a little bit far ahead. So maybe we'll get a few shots off before the pikemen show up. Okay, that's enough of that. Get back inside. Oop. That was sloppy. Ryan, get in to hide. Done. Problem solved. Oh yeah, Smokey, get in there. And, and where's Damon? Damon, stop making drugs and help people out. I mean, it's a good cause, but still. Okay, we got a left leg cut on Lunk, but yeah, they're taking it like a champ. Here comes the rest of them now. Once they get in the door, we jump them and start shooting them. And the bots are going to take away... Yeah, fair enough. We might as well be efficient about this. Oh yeah, come on down. No. No, 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 no. No kids allowed. I need to uh, make sure the kids don't come in here. Just, we'll keep an eye out. Okay, you can attack that. And then you can run over here and attack that. Actually, never mind. Stay here and attack that. Oof. You too. Perfect. Back to work, kids. Hmm. I think they're getting uh, shots off on Lunk. Oh, well, Lunk's got a shield belt on, so I don't think it actually matters. Unless they can break his shield belt. Well, in that case, there is three left. Okay, now that they're all focused on Lunk. Actually, Lunk can just solo them, I'm pretty sure. Ah, kids. Fine. 
Let's speed this along, shall we? Well, get in there. Kids are set to run away if any... Except for Paffersil, who's like, you're set to flee. What are you... There's... God damn it. I really should set up the, the, the zones a little bit better for this, but I... Well, I was sort of half... Half... Half assing it because, come on! There was only a few mechs. Uh, that's the queen dead. Uh, we need to go grab her chip now. Yeah, we need to change some zones. And where is that chip? Uh, all the way over here. Great. We'll grab that and grab the corpse. Uh, I wonder if we get more points for grinding up a, a queen's corpse than we do from a normal one. By studying that chip the war queen dropped, we've now got access to high mech tech research. We'll still have to do it, but uh, yeah, that's going to be a while away. Because I'm not seeing much goodness stuff in here we really want, but... Oh, well, the fabricator might be nice, I suppose. Uh, you know what? Not gonna care. Not gonna worry about it. Well, they definitely changed something under mech tech. Right now, you can get the lifter, the constructor, the agri-hand, and the clean sweeper all on the basic tech level. Um, it used to be they were locked behind higher tech. Because right here, I know I could only get the agri-hand and the lifter. I couldn't get the clean sweeper and the constructoid, and I was gonna have to get... I don't know if it was this mech tech or this mech tech. I had to get one of those before they they opened up. That's a big change. Well, I'm going to produce a constructoid. I want a constructoid to go... Ooh, how's everyone's training doing? Uh, shooting. Very nice. And Calgary, you're learning construction. Already level two? Very good indeed. Well, looks a good teacher. All right. Um, was it? Yeah, I wanted the constructoid to head over here and start dismantling all of the... Well, the ancient dangers and all of these ruins that are in the map. Those ruins actually count a little bit towards your wealth, so let's deconstruct them, take the blocks, and turn them into something useful like buildings we're going to use. Uh, okay, and I'm just so happy here that we're insulated. Quest available, a psychic suppressor for Arid. Uh, you know what, let's get rid of all of this junk. Oh, wait a minute, I just remembered something. Didn't we give one of the pawns Happersill? We made you a brawler. And you have a gun. Um... No, we should get you to drop that gun because you're going to be unhappy holding it. Yeah, minus 20 for a brawler. Yeah, you, yep, drop the gun. Get back to doing what you're doing. We're trading up. Yeah, I'm going to have to get them. I'm going to have to get a Lux Kid, some sort of close combat weaponry. Oh, we got a bit of a blight on the heel roots. And here's a new feature. Cut all blight. Oh, that's so much better. That's just one click. That, that we have been asking for that for God knows how long. There's been a mod to actually do that. It just saves so much time. All right, then. Uh, this is also one of the reasons I spread out my crops. Like, I'll have, uh, you know, say a heel root over here, then, you know, different crops in between to, start, to sort of prevent spread. So if it hits our potatoes, it only hits one batch instead of both. If you had uh, all, all three of these as heel root, let's say, it'd probably spread to all of them. And you know what? I am going to get you to stay down here and prioritize a bit of cutting. We want to prevent that spreading into the psychoid. This stuff, if you let it go get high enough, it will... Oh, there we go. It's spread. We got to make sure that doesn't spread any further. Ooh, Blood Parley. Another one of those vamp quests. We don't actually want any more vamps. We've Lunks recovered, so they could actually convert someone now. Uh, so is Smokey. And we do have two vampires on ice that we could thaw it. So we could make four more vampires right now if we really wanted to. Don't know if I want our kids being vamps just yet. No, I think... Actually, we will accept it, but not for turning one of our people. I think eh, the Insanity Lance, we could always use one of those. I mean, they show up, they do their thing, they leave, shouldn't cost us anything. Ooh, it's raining right now. I might go out and grab those boomlops in the morning. They'd, uh, they'd look nice in our fridge. All right, here come the vamps. They'll meet up probably somewhere around the table, so either in this room or this room. And then other people might come to try and kill them. And we're Smokey. Smokey's on their way to H Hattieve? You know what? I'm going to call it Hattieve. I should have actually picked a name for that ages ago. All right, you guys, uh, finish off the last of that blight cut. One thing I did was I turned off uh, Allow Sewing. Didn't want them sewing any more plants in there until the blight was fully dealt with. God damn it, there's more of it. Or those vamps could have a meeting in the cloning room. Right. Which reminds me, yeah, we got 12 days before those genes regrow. Well. We managed to get our hands on a couple of boom lobs pretty quick. Uh, shoot that one as well if you wouldn't mind. Yeah, all of them have revenge. That's probably not good. Uh, but that's okay. We have excessive firepower. And the will to use it. There we go. Come on. It's going to mess up our crops here a little bit, but I figure the rain should put out most of it. Ah. Excellent.
Excellent. Well, are any of you still alive and going to pop? No, you are not. In that case, let's maybe go down and, and make sure we save our crops. I truly appreciate that these ancient, deathless vampires decided to hang out in a classroom with a smoke launcher in the corner. Yeah, like, people were worried about that gun over there. It's just a smoke launcher. The kids can play with that just fine. Anyway, uh, caravan arrived. What, what kind of goodies have you got for us? Come on, roll us a good one. Slow learning. No, no, for some reason I'm not feeling it. Ooh, I'll take the cooking, though. I know someone who could use that cooking. Aesthetic nose always comes in handy. Yeah, no, no, not, not a terrible run. End of the day, we sold them 7,900 bucks worth of stuff, and we grabbed six grand's worth. Skill trainer cooking, aesthetic nose, there's always a use for that. Low shield pack, psychic suit pulser, medicine, and components. I want to get my hands on one of those psychic suit pulsers because there's been a few rough patches where that would have been really handy to have on hand. All right, uh, let's get this going. Who's, who's the next kid that's going to age up? Okay, Katie's is going to hit 13 in about ooh, actually a year, which is less than 10 days in real time. And Muppet should be coming up on their uh, seventh birthday very soon as well. Excellent. Hey, would you look at that? Chewie's throwing a party. Everyone will gain recreational and social energy and a positive lasting mood boost. What are you... Where are you... Oh, damn it, I left that as a gather spot. No. Gather at the normal wooden table, like normal people. Muppets. Oh, and maybe... Ah, yeah. uh, it's my own fault. It's just I'd prefer if they were doing it inside. It just looks a little bit better. Yeah, and Smokey right now is out on the road. They're about to hit up White Spoo. Yeah, let's see what White Spoo have on offer. Right now, what we would settle for is... Actually, we don't need anything too desperately, but if they could have some decent jeans, that would be not... Ooh. Ah, damn it. Uh, they never get age-related diseases like cancer, bad back, cataracts, or dementia. This basically gets rid of old age. So old age and all the diseases that go with it are gotten rid of. But it comes with extra pain, which means you go down easier and you become a wimp. Ugh, no. No, I'd rather not. What's the other genetics? Okay, a long-haired and sheer white skin. Well, they're pointless. These things don't actually do anything. They're just uh, cosmetics. I don't really care. Genes-wise, this place was pretty much a dead a dead end. Partial toxic anti-lung is, you know, it's a half measure. There's no point getting that. Though they do have an LTEC staff on hand. An LTEC staff... Well, there were some things I was planning on doing later, but an LTEC staff would mean we should probably... We might get around to that a little bit sooner, so let's take that along with us, shall we? Uh, they have an aesthetic nose, but we already got one of those. No need to bother. Which reminds me, Lunk should probably get that aesthetic nose. It'll help counteract all the social negatives they're getting. In fact, we should probably start pairing off the last of our people. Advanced fabrication means we can now make advanced components, assuming we've got the gold and plasteel to do it. And I think after that, though... Oh, where to go? Hi, mech tech. Why not? Let's get that mechanator maxed out. Once we get high mech tech done, we can summon what's-his-face. You know what? I can't find the name of them. Whatever. It's the... Last boss, anyway, from the mech tech section. We'll worry about it when we summon them. For now, though, what I really want to do is expand our gene pool, which is unfortunately going really slowly. I did not anticipate how slowly it would go. We're going to need a whole bunch more prisoners if you want to run uh, a proper gene pool extraction process. Uh, we did keep a quest for that. Where is it? Crypto drone info hack. Uh, pirates from the whips will keep attacking us so long as this is there, and they will do it for 30 days. Now, if we check up Pirates from the Whips, eh, where are you? Okay, the Whips are actually 10% Dirt Moles, 5% Asars, 2.5... Like, they're from a whole bunch of genetic lineages. So we should be able to nab a whole bunch of them when we do that quest. Make sure we have a bunch of shock lances, zap a bunch of them, make them prisoners, and then just start ripping their genetics out. So I'd prefer if we had some way to make them uh, tamer. If we could apply some genes to them to make them... Uh, Actually, no, we couldn't do that. That would make it... No, oh, no, never mind. We'll uh, we'll do that, but only after the kids have aged up. The kids are still a little bit too young to be handled on that. Well, that's inconvenient. Psychic Droner mech cluster. Uh, landed not far from Forced Evolution. There's a Psychic Droner. That's going to be a problem. We might be able to sneak in and destroy it. We might not. Hmm. Do we start a caravan now, or do we wait? Damn it. Not sure what I want to do in this instance. I think we pretty much have to start first thing in the morning. Everyone's going to be a little bit unhappy. Let's see. No, Chewie's fine. Smokey, what is it? What's this tune to? Yep, all the males are going to get a minus six, and I presume that is going to get worse. 
So, time to get a team together first thing in the morning. Once it's about 5 o'clock, we'll get everyone... At, well, we'll send about 2 to 3 people on the way. I think we can take... Where is it? Smokey, what's your level right now? Uh, you're only at level 5 Silent. Damn it! You're so close to level 6. Once we get level 6, we can throw on Fire Skip. Uh, Fire Skip is... Yeah, a level 6 ability. Wait. Yeah. Ooh, it's a level 5 ability. Never mind. Uh, Smokey? You're... Time to get your first. Oh, wait, no, I already have fire skip on you. I'm an idiot. All right, so first thing in the morning, we send them out. We've got fire skip on Smokey, so we can pull everyone back if anything gets desperate. That's so useful. All right, we should be able to get there pretty quick. We're about 0 0.2 days away. We're sending in three of our best. We're sending in Lunk, Smokey, and Damon. They should be able to plow through whatever is there. And meanwhile, our constructor is over here slowly dismantling this entire old ancient danger. We can use the bricks for something. I mean, it's a bunch of slate and things. Plus, we're expanding out this area here, so I figure it'll come in handy one way or another. It's just we need more space for all of the things we want to build. I think as well we're going to dismantle these walls here and integrate this room and this room together. So if that's the case, I might want to start double walling things. You know what? Uh, we might want to start doing that in a second. What have we got here? We'll waste some of our uh, excess rocks, but we're going to double wall here to prevent bots from smashing their way in here too, too, just a little bit too easily. And here we go. Caravan arrived at Psychic Droner. And it's nighttime. And they are dormant. And there is a mech high shield, but they're all dormant. And I don't see any sort of activator. Hmm. I don't really want to get involved in a fight with these guys anyway. Problem is, there is three of us. We probably could take them, but it would be mildly risky. Uh, I say we set up a little hitching post just to make sure that the uh, a caravan hitching post right about there. And then we get all the animals and hook them up to that. Right. Uh, that keeps them out of the way. Uh, let's get everyone over this direction and... Oh, wait. Uh, don't fire at will. I don't want you starting any fights just yet. We're going to smash our way in the back door. Or can we just claim the door? Right. That seems entirely too simple. What? No! Everyone inside. Nice. That is perfect. Then we can just attack it from the inside and then run away again. Yeah, I remember this from the last time. And problem solved. All right, do we need any of this stuff? Oh, you know what? I'm not even bothered bringing any of this stuff home. Let's just get out of here. I think as days go, that went pretty well. That was not the worst threat we could have faced. All right, let's uh, reinforce this area and start expanding a bit. I've also stuck in a fabrication bench. And I'm kind of looking forward to get our, our hands on, where is it? I think it's called a fabricator. It basically just fabricates stuff. I would like to stick one of those on producing nothing but components and advanced components. I just let it go forever. Now, a little bit of a break with tradition. We sent a caravan on a really long journey over here just because well, there's two more trading partners and I would really like to get my hands on some decent jeans if they've got them available. Thin body. Well, yeah, hyper aggressive. Ugh. Well, it was worth a try. Plus, there's another one nearby. Just let me double check to make sure they've got nothing good here. We will take an Insanity Lance, but only on the grounds that we're just hopeful that they've got something else at the next place. Oh, and we can sell the Gene Thin Body. Instead of just letting those things degrade, we can just sell them off. Seems like a good idea. It's not really worth a huge amount, but eh, money's money. The next place also has the hyper-aggressive Gene. I'm beginning to realize that finding good genetics is going to be difficult out here on the rim. Uh, it's It's... The hyper aggressive gene, but it comes gene, but it comes with a pig nose. Just, just to make it even better. On the right side, we did find a couple of shooting skill trainers, so we will take them with us. Uh, let's head back home. That is one day. It's actually pretty short. We're on a we're on a road network, and I think we might end up going down here as well. There's three places right there that we could go trade with. Well, we'll just bring Smokey home. Let them get a rest up. Get you know, uh, get their recreation on a little bit before we send them off again. Ah, uh, Muppet. They've reached a growth moment, and they did max out. They got the growth tier eight. So, let's see what you got, buddy. Well, looking at their genes, they've got Pollution Stimulus, which not really that useful. They've got Poor Artistic, Hyper- Aggressive, Weak Immunity. I mean, they're not really amazing here, but uh, I'm thinking Quick Sleeper is always a good one. Like, Restmate multi Multiplier plus 50%. They just don't need nearly as much sleep. It's kind of huge. Uh, nimble, well, that's the only other choice really there. I, we could go with Very Neurotic, but I don't really want to break deal with that Mental Break Threshold. If these do end up getting promoted to round two, you don't want to have that uh, mental break threshold increase when they're just starting out in a new colony. All right then, so we went with social construction and shooting. 
Shooting, obviously, construction because it's always good to have, and social because, well, I wasn't quite sure between plants, mining, and cooking, but I figured they'll sort something out. These are all good all-round skills, and we'll, we'll kind of know more where we're going with them once they get to round three, or round two. Uh, hey, kid, where are you? Oh, yeah, they're learning right now. See, the thing is, I may have took them out, uh, I may have taken them out shooting to kill a bunch of animals so we could stock up our fridge. Well, they'd already maxed out their learning, so I figured why not take them out shooting? This sort of drove down their learning, though, because they weren't busy learning while they were out shooting. Hmm, that will be fine. They'll be right back up there in no time at all. And another caravan ambush by the... It's the Porkies this time. Eh, what have you got? Do you actually have any genetics we'd like? Hmm. Not really, no. Strong immunity would always be... Actually, no, not then poor cooking. Yeah, you're just basically a bunch of meh. Ooh, I forgot that they were nearsighted. Uh, is Smokey nearsighted? They can't be. They're a sanguifage. Therefore, their nearsightedness should be overwritten, shouldn't it? Oh, actually, no. They're just terrible. I should really not be giving them a gun, should I? Uh, that would explain their terrible shooting accuracy, but that's okay. We'll just get them down here. Damn. I had a completely forgotten just how terrible they were going to be at shooting. Yeah, well, kind of matches with what they've been doing so far. Oof. You, give me a burden there if you wouldn't mind. Now you can riddle them some more. One more? Perfect. So, I should probably double check their ability to hit stuff. I'm thinking I would be better off giving them some sort of close combat weapon. Uh, I'll have to keep an eye out for one. Well, never mind, let's get out of here. While waiting for Smokey to come back, I thought we'd try a little something on the side. We've got a death resting vampire that we caught earlier. And they got a bit of craving, a bunch of random stuff. I think there's a few things we would like to do with them. Uh, hmm. Actually, wait, no, maybe not this one. Yeah, let's put this one back. I don't like this one. All right, Cooper, that's the vamp we already took the pain stopper out of uh, that is already immobile. Let's set them up to have their will reduced. There's a few things we'd like to do to them that might be beneficial for the colony. Oh, and Smokey's back. Exit. All right, Smokey. Oh. Yep. It, it, does anyone know if there's a fix for that? That is just, it feels like such a waste of time. All right. We have... Oh, yes, we need to make a prepper room for our new uh, potential slave. Also, we're going to summon a Diabolus while we're waiting. Why not? And another quick thing we're going to take care of. We're going to give a word of love on Stalker for Chewbacca. Uh, wait, you don't have any social things going on. Nope, 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 it's fine. And Chewie's the only one on the team you haven't tried to go up with. Chewie, uh, why don't you romance Stalker there? And now they're both lovers. Excellent. Now we just have to assign them out a double bed. Uh, oh god, we have too many beds. Excellent bed, excellent bed. You know what, I'll, I'll do a little bit of rearranging. There, a little bit of shuffling around. Now Chewie and Stalker can share the same bed. Actually, what's their social like towards each other? Okay, they're really happy with each other. 90 to 100. That should last at least a while. Katie's. Oh wow. Katie's just went super buff. It's like, boom, kaplow. I presume they have some sort of uh, fat body gene. Right, that would explain it. <laughs> okay well uh katie's let's see let, let's see what you did when you became an adult yep you got all the options excellent well this was slightly depressing i just remember katie's here is well they're terrible at mining social intellectual but they're great at animals that's that's sort of their thing reduced pain a little bit of naked speed now naked speed means i should really just give them nudism but they don't have the furry coat to stay warm uh, wimp is just terrible, misogynist is bad, chemical interest is also bad, depressive is minus 12 mood, and reclusive is just a negative mood because of the amount of colonists you have. I think once you go above 12, it starts becoming problematic, and we're going up to 20, so no. Uh, so I think we're going to have to just make them a misogynist. Uh, the other choice was nudist, which will give them minus 3 for wearing clothing, but I think misogynist is probably the least impactful. That is, like, that is just really bad options. I've been hearing people telling me about all the super soldiers they could make. Well, well good luck picking a super soldier out of those traits. We don't even have beer. Ugh, to do chemical injury. Never mind. It's fine. It's fine. It just gives them more flavor. So Katie's over here is now misogynist. Uh, Bing. Puberty, what can you say, eh? So, shooting, medical, and construction. Construction because you can never have enough constructors. Why not? Uh, there's no point getting social. They already, pay, uh, they already have a, a minus four negative in it, so it's not worth it. 
crafting and plants. Well, we've already got one in plants. We don't need plants above eight anyway, and we have plenty of agrobots, so planting not really worth... Like, I'd like one point just to have the option if we go bring this one back. And crafting... Well, no, they don't really specialize in anything else. It sort of limited our options, so... Yay, I suppose. they. Uh, we've got a nice peg-legged teen who's now not horrendous at stuff. Okay, well, you need to... Oh, wow, you immediately took off all your clothes. Well... Yeah, you are 13. Let's get you a, a pants and a shirt and a fleck vest. Oh, wow, yeah, we're going to need to make, make, start making a few fleck vests, aren't we? We'll, we'll, we'll get a few fleck vests made and ooh, we might even stick you in the tank. Mad rat. That on the other tile. Yeah, whatever. We are really polluting this place nicely. Eh, well, let me see what we can do here. 13 and already playing poker and cheating. You both have the exact same hand. Uh, yeah, sure. Good good job, Katie. Welcome to the team. You'll fit right in. Oh, actually, we should probably give you some jobs to do. I think uh, their job is going to be make simple meals, and we're going to switch all the prisoners over to simple meals. There'll be a bunch of vomiting, but we, we don't care. Also, on our travels, we did pick up a skill trainer cooking, which will be helpful. Now, the thing I'm wondering is, do they still age at 600% speed until they become adults? Uh, what's your bio saying you're at? Uh, you're net cooking nine. Right. Um. Well, that kind of simplifies things. We don't even need to change you to do, like, well, we can let you do as much cooking as you want now. Uh, you can help your old man. We'll just give you uh, a couple of food bills along with him. Oh, just in case you're wondering, uh, when it comes to food poisoning, as long as you have cooking level eight or higher, your food poisoning chances are completely minimized. If your cooking skills are 7 or lower, you have a chance of getting food poisoning despite everything. I have been thinking, and I think uh, Katie's can pop into the vat. You see, they've got a body size of 0 0.08. A normal human, say Chewy here, has a body size of 1. As in, they've got 20% less body size than a normal human. I'm not sure what that does to their hit points, but I'm pretty sure it makes them uh, more susceptible to the effects of drugs. So we're going to magically age them up to the age of 18 in the growth vat. At this rate, they'll age 20 times faster. Uh, we want to age them, well, five years. So, oh god, they're going to be in there for almost an entire year. But we can pop them out when any troubles show up and they can at least start shooting stuff. Does that keep them happy, I wonder? You know what? Who cares? They're probably grounded. They're the recreation satisfied. It'll probably pause all their stats. And their tail does stick out a bit. That's okay. We're gonna need a few more of these as well. Oh, and I've doubled up on our power production over here. These things are just way too handy not to double up. Oh, we'll wait until solar is off and we'll check how much excess power we've got running through the grid. Somehow I missed that the anima tree is up to 22 anima grass and there's a combat supplier rolling by. Let's just have a quick check with the combat suppl supplier first. If they've got any genes we want, great. If they don't, we can go back to uh, doing the tree. What do you got for me? Tox resistant. No, that's a half measure. Well, take all their components, some medicine, and a low shield pack. And then I'm thinking it's time for a linking ritual. Yep. Now, as it stands, the kids do not get the nature focus. But what I've seen on the Reddit, uh, Tynan is aware of this. It is a mistake, and it will be fixed at some point in the future. We are going to leave it for now. Hope they patch it before the rest of the kids come of age. If there's any problems, we can always just get a mod to fix it or use dev mode or something along those lines. But for now, let's not be con too concerned about it. It's not essential that the kids have a uh, side focus just this moment. Uh, let's see what Smokey manages to get this time around. You got the side power mass chaos skip, the most worthless of all of them. That is just excellent. Just excellent. Okay, we also have a strong image desired, and Smokey should probably get around to making that at some point. Smokey, come on, finish off that marble grand statue. Uh, don't, who tried to convert who? Ryan tried to convert Damon. Ah, Ryan is our uh, mechanist. I wouldn't worry about that too much. Ah, oh, Diabolus has arrived. Excellent. Uh, let's go make Diabolus kill a bunch of their friends. Okay, Smokey, let's make them pay. All right, what's the range on this thing? That's going to be a bit tricky. We might have to get closer than I'd like. Oh, why is Diablos all the way hiding at the back? Yeah, we can get we can get a little bit closer. Ooh, that is going to be tight. Done. And perfect. In that case, let's just jump out of here. Insanity has been done. We are going to rush away. 
And we're going to avoid all those shot glances. And they've set the entire place on fire. Ah, beautiful. Well, while uh, they're bu busy killing Diablos, let's just wander back home. Ah, the joys of Insanity Lance. It just sort of makes these boss fights a little bit simpler than they should be. Well, that was depressing. It fired two shots at this thing and missed in the first one and only took off its leg in the second. This Diablos cannon is very... wonky. I am not sure I am happy with it. Okay, so we get five milters and two pikemen left. Right, uh, let's get a few people out front and uh, get ready for it to show up. So the plan is very simple. We're going to line everyone up over here. We've even got our scyther involved in this. Uh, we only have one scyther so far, but I'm hopeful once we get that second chip, we can add uh, another four scythers to the team. This is the whole reason we're killing this Diablos again, because with that chip, we'll be able to produce something that makes our uh, our mechanator just that little bit more dangerous. Oh, wow, the rain is really affecting accuracy out here. Uh, we should be able to take out most of the pikemen will be an annoyance, but I figure we can send Lunk in to deal with that. Lunk, wake up. We're going to need you to take out some pikemen when the time comes. Where's the last of the milters? Okay, so we got one milter over here and a couple of pikemen, and there's one of them over... Ah, right, so that's where it went. Well, you all go over that direction, eh, except for the Stalker. The Stalker can stay here, because that's going to send out the Scyther. And Katie's, you can wait there as well. We, we would like some support. It just, just kill it from there. I don't think you need cover for just one of them. Ooh. Oh, they're shooting from that, that distance. That's interesting. Lunk, get out of here. Eh. Jump. And let's see, which one do you want? You know what? It doesn't really matter too much because I'm pretty sure they don't have the DPS to get through his shield. Especially when he has one of them tied up in combat. Eh. Mechanator, get out of here. The problem is these uh, scythers can't attack further than their range, so you get over there, scyther, get over there. Yep, Lunk's just gonna walk that off, scyther is gonna shred that thing. Done! Easy peasy. Uh, everyone else, back to work. Now, all of that effort, effort knocking out Diabolus was so that we could produce one thing in here, and that was Bandwidth Pack. Uh, this Bandwidth Pack is quite nice. Where is it? Give me some details on it. It takes two signal chips, basically the chips dropped by Diabolus, 50 steel and 8 components to make. But once you get it, you get you can use it as a backpack as far as I'm aware, and it gives you plus 9 mech bandwidth. So meaning you control about 9 more small mechs, or, well, 4.5 of the mid-range mechs like Scythers. So we should be able to make 4 more Scythers out of this, giving us a 5 Scyther pack to, to throw at people. Okay, band with backpack completed. Uh, we need to force equip that. I'm pretty sure that takes the place of the low shield pack we've currently got on. Uh, yeah. Excellent. Now we have 9 more bandwidth to work with. We're up to 21. Beautiful. Well, in that case... Let's start turning out a few Scythers. Uh, we'll do four, if you wouldn't mind. That means we're going to need to put some of these guys in there. What's your health like? Your genes are regrowing, but that's fine. Uh, two years on you. 1.9 days, 1.3 days. I don't think that really matters for these guys. But anyway, uh, we'll get Elred in here. We can dump one of them into the, that and make ourselves a couple of cores for the, the mechanoids. Our trading has managed to source a second bionic leg. Uh, that is good, because it's going to be a while before any of these other places become available to trade with again. 20 days on that one. That one's 18. And that one's actually 7.5. Not too bad. I really like to have so many trading partners around here. Like we even got... Those two over there, and I'm probably going to end up going down to those three there at some point. We we just probably need to extend out our drug production maybe quite substantially to take advantage of it. And what happened there? Um, I didn't make that a home zone. And I'm presuming there was some sort of lightning strike thing. Uh, guys, you want to like make sure that the boomalopes don't go boom? We have managed to enslave the vamp cooper. Finally. Uh, what's your needs at? You're, uh, oof, you know what, let's get you a coat on maybe. Maybe that'll stop you being so unhappy about being, you know, naked. They're a little bit slow. They've got peg legs on them, but we'll find ways to make them useful. So we got Cooper. We jacked him up on drugs until they're like super 
super duper happy. Uh, well, as happy as we could make them. Unfortunately, they want to eat people, and we don't have any people around that they can eat right now. Uh, well, nothing fresh anyway. So we're just going to put them into death rest here and leave off the auto wake up, and then we're going to start performing some operations. First up, we're going to install a psychic harmonizer. Uh, if you're worried about the conditions in the room, don't worry about it. Chewbacca's like a level 14 or something like that. Uh, like, the odds are basically as good as they're going to get. If it fails, it's going to fail because of Randy. What? Nope, did not. Psychic Harmonizer installed. Excellent. Chewbacca, how are you feeling right now? Uh, doop, 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 doop. Psychic Harmony from Cooper is six. Is that? Oh, you're resistant. Lunk, how are you feeling right now? Psychic Harmony from Cooper is giving you plus 14. Lunk, where are you? Excellent. Ha Paversil, how are you doing? Plus 12 from Cooper. Cowgirl, plus 12. Damon, plus 12. Uh, Cooper, well, yeah, you're just unconscious. Lindsay, plus 12. Stalker, plus 12. Muppet, plus 12. Ryan, plus 12. Right. So, basically, we've got someone who's going to death rest forever. Doesn't require food, blood, anything. They just lie there. And so long as we don't have auto wake up on, they'll just stay there and do nothing. And when we do want to wake them up, we can just auto wake them up. Well, we can just wake them up as normal, get them to put on whatever clothes, take whatever drugs we want, uh, or equip whatever weapons or gear, because right now the only thing they're equipped with is an L tech staff to improve their sensitivity. Now, we'll probably wait until we've got some cannibal food for them, uh, or some non fungus plant cooked. Eight non fungus. Fungus, plant cook, whatever. We'll sort something out to make them much happier next time we put them under because they weren't quite maxed out last time. We only got them up to 96% mood. But I'm going to call that a perfectly good yunners. Now, uh, let, let's just wall them in. Yeah, a little bit of Casca Amontillado right there, or whatever it's called. That mm. uh, should keep them safe. Damn it, I'm an hour and six minutes in. <laughs> okay. All right, well, we, we've got lots of good progress today. We've got ourselves a, a yunners, which I should probably rename to a yunners just because. Uh, it's just tradition at this point. Well, Yunners, uh, well, the Yunners built in, we've got a little bit of extra mood bonus for everyone, which is nice. Smokey, I'm, before I send you your next thing, I want you to finish off that grand sculpture. Namely, because everyone's got a minus four because we're missing that strong image. Oh, and wow, there's a, currently a high psychic drone on. I might want to get people to take a few drugs to keep happy. Well, that'll be okay. Also, we do have a little bit of a flu going around. We're taking care of that as well. But I'm thinking we have maxed out all, well, we're going to max out all of our mech mechanator on Scythers. But we also have one more Mechanator th thing we can pick up over here at the Ancient Mechanator Complex, which means we can get a second Mechanator, do the same thing with them, but that second one won't need to make all of these mechs that are taking care of our farming and hauling and all that stuff. We'll just have 21 bandwidth that we can dedicate towards 10 Scythers. That should be interesting, though I'm just not sure who we give it to yet. I kind of want to save it until all the kids are mature and we can pick out one of the kids who is going to be going into the next round and make them a Mechanator. So I'm just not sure we've got the time to wait. Anyway, that is all for the next episode for now. I hope you enjoyed. Good luck. Mm -hmm.